Um, this is my second time trying to record this intro. I recorded it first on Monday. Today's Thursday. <clears throat> Just getting set up for our tank party, so I thought I would film a little intro to this week-long vlog that I'm um, going to be sharing with you. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> um, let me tell you what you are about to get into. Um, it's mostly me playing in my sketchbook, um, clips of me drawing various things. I did a little tech segment replacing my snap phone grip. Um, so you'll see that. <laughs> I've also worked on, a, I did a little bit of a personal illustration project. I know I talk about starting <clears throat> projects all the time. This one I'm actually working on, it's an illustrated map of record stores, lost record stores in Toronto. Um, so you'll see me do one of the drawings uh, for that. And then, yeah, just a bunch of um, sketchbook time. You'll see it. It's just a really chill time. I didn't really, don't think I'm getting up to very much today's art hang party. Um, so watch the stream, uh, draw along with the stream so you can participate as part of this, uh, this vlog. And tomorrow's Friday, tomorrow's Good Friday. Um, enjoy the chill sketchbook times and my little foray into being a tech YouTuber, um, at least a tech accessory YouTuber, um, for whatever that's worth. And I'll see you at the end of this. Uh, why am I filming? I am filming because I've had this Snap Pro, I think it's Pro 3, Snap Pro 3 on the back of my phone um, I think I ordered it last May and it's like, it's very fun to play with. It's got like a little kickstand on it so you can set your phone up and I use it a lot. Um, but it had a year warranty on it. In fact, I didn't even know what the warranty was. Um, but I emailed them saying that this won't stay down anymore. <laughs> uh, so they sent me back very quickly a form to fill out um, for a warranty claim and gave me a credit to cover the cost of a new upgraded Snap for Lux. Now I'm a little upset because it is, well, it's still green. You can kind of see it's still green. It is not as green as this guy. And this guy just looks so cute on the back of my case with my Tink Illustration box tape <laughs> um, that I saved from an order that I got probably at the same time as I got my iPhone 12 Pro, which may be close to four years ago now, just going from memory. So this has been the um, inside of this cheapo Amazon $10 plastic case. And this little sticker here is new from Kristen, uh, Kristen Hastings. Follow Kristen for all sorts of fun stuff um, on Substack because she's not on Instagram right now. So I thought I would try replacing this. How satisfying, how satisfying is that little magnetic thing? Okay, gotta take this off. Probably an easy way to do that. All right, blah, blah. So how do we get, so this has been on here for a year. I'm gonna hurt my, oh my gosh, okay. Right here. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh boy, that's really on there, you know? Apparently the adhesive is reusable. Oop. I wouldn't say that's going to be reusable though. So, okay. Oh, sticky. Uh. I'm going to let it, okay. I hope that's in the right spot. <laughs> All right, there we go. Still fidgety. I do this a lot. It 
feels more secure, actually. This is, this is definitely a much um, improved Grip and um, Grip Pro Snap for Lux <laughs> is what it's called. Um, anyway, not sponsored, but they took good care of me uh, very quickly when I reached out um, because my last one was not working. This phone screen, by the way, is a uh, Grace Yenser on Instagram. I snapped, uh, took a snapshot of one of her stories and it is the most beautiful phone background. Anyway, I need to play in my sketchbook, but thank you for your support um, while I installed that. I think you will agree that the green looks much nicer on there. <laughs> oh, snap. There you go. A little kind of tech, um, tech bit for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's sketchbook, shall we? Let's scan this puppy and preview. So 
my scanner is an Epson Perfection V39 that just connects um, via USB. There's the drawing, or well, the one that we just did. And then I'll scan it. Uh, so this is my Illustrator file with all of the other ones that I've done with, here's the map. I don't know if I inserted it um, before, but that's where it stands right now, but we're going to remove um, the ones that are still open here. So I got to draw a whole bunch more. Still going. Make Make a new artboard. Um, burp, burp, burp. Open it in Photoshop. Um, crop it, actually. Straighten it a bit. Crop it. I like to put the purple mat in the background. Um, just so that helps with uh, cropping and stuff. And then I control L to bring up the levels, press on the white um, thing here and find something that looks whitest and then move these. I think that's the way to do it. And then file, save as, I want to save it as a PD, PSD, and this is uh, Sam, the record man. Uh, fun fact, I think my stepdad used to own one of these stores before he was ever in our life when he lived uh, on the east coast of Canada. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to take Sam, the record man, and drag it into Illustrator. And there it is. Let me zoom in here. So there you can see our scan. Uh, I'm gonna come over to Image Trace and I have some defaults here. So I'm gonna use that one that I've created for a client because it works perfectly. Uh, and then I'm gonna press expand and you'll see that this is now vectorized. Uh, I will ungroup um, and then group this because that's our building. I would normally be using shortcuts here. Um, that is our logo. I'll probably have to redraw that. Uh, not great. And then up here with the um, with the like street number, the address and the dates, I always write it out a few times because some of the letters always turn out better than others. Um, but, and then I can kind of pick and choose which, which will go where. So then these would be copied over onto the map and placed um, properly. I would draw a little white um, background like that. Anyway, that's all I'm doing with this today. I just wanted to get one done um, and then I'll continue to work on it. But I thought I would show you that.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that, um, whatever it was that we got up to, even though I basically just told you. Um, anyway, <laughs> how do people film intros and then outros, uh, like, at the same time? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let me know how your week was. Let me know if there's anything in my sketchbook <clears throat> that inspired you to draw. Um, let me know if you have one of these uh, phone grips on your phone and what you think of it. I love it. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's too expensive for what it is, but I love it. Um, and yeah, I will see you very soon. I think I'm going to do my next video. I shouldn't say this, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to do... Remember the color swatches that I made that we organized into color groups a couple of videos ago? 
I need to get those into like color order now. So that's going to be coming very soon. I think that's probably next on the list. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm waving, Deb. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Do you know how old this shirt is? I was still working at Sears Canada. I had been working at Sears Canada for a couple of years already when I bought this for probably $12.99 at H&M. <laughs> it's going to be uh, due to be retired, but I still think it's really cute.